Good morning everyone, so today it is Saturday and I am going to try and run my longest ever run of about 18 to 20 miles because of course I'm training for the marathon. Now if you have seen my Twitter or my Snapchat, you would have seen that earlier this week I said that this Sunday, so today, I was going to be announcing something really exciting. I can't announce it today, I'm so sorry, I have my video ready to go up. But because of some logistical problems, it has to go up next weekend instead. And I'm absolutely gutted because I, I'm i just so excited. I can't even explain to you how much I want to tell you. But um, yeah, I have to wait, which is really frustrating for me and maybe frustrating for you too. So I'm sorry about that. But I'm going to be doing a what I eat in a day video instead. So hopefully you will enjoy this video just as much. So today it should be quite interesting. My what I eat in a day is going to be very different to what I've done before because I'm obviously acting in a way as if today is going to be my actual marathon. It's almost like my dress rehearsal. So my practice before the marathon, this is going to be my longest run. Um, the marathon is in three weeks, but you shouldn't do anything too long in the two weeks beforehand to just let your body recover. So, I've been reading up a lot about it, and I understand that you need some kind of energy gels to keep you going, electrolyte water, but they're all kind of artificial. Not necessarily bad, but just not the kind of food that I personally would normally have, and they're always going to be given out at the marathon. But I thought, okay, I don't really want to mess up with my digestion by just trying new stuff that I have not had in years. So last night I came up with the idea of making my own. So I've made my own energy gels and made my own electrolyte water and I'm going to give it a go while I'm running. So these are what you would normally be given, some kind of energy gels and they're basically just sugar and flavoured with different, you know, pineapple, apple, all kinds of different flavours and then your normal energy electrolyte water. Um, which are absolutely fine. This is what the majority of people are going to be having and possibly what I'll be having if mine don't work out. So mine over here are gonna look really gross. They're obviously just in sandwich bags. I don't have pretty packaging. But this is basically just dates with chia seeds, a bit of lemon juice, agave nectar, some salt, a bit of cacao powder um, and blackstrap molasses, which is like a syrup. Um, to make it a chocolate flavoured, really, really sweet date energy gel because dates just give you so much energy. So this is the kind of thing that I will have when I'm feeling really, really tired throughout the marathon, probably after, I don't know, however many miles when I hit the wall and I need a bit of a pick-me-up. So I'll be trying them out today. And this here is my homemade electrolyte water. So I'm basically trying to get this similar kind of um, the purpose of this, but also the taste. So in here is just lemon and lime juice with orange juice, water, and some pink Himalayan salt. So, yep, that will hopefully be a good pick-me-up as well. So homemade, not homemade, and I don't know which one I'm going to go for on the actual marathon. So the reason I'm doing this whole rehearsal thing is obviously mainly because of the running. I need to try and get up as many miles as I possibly can. But also, it's so important to actually test the food that you're going to have on the marathon. So, I had a massive dinner last night of a huge bowl of pasta with loads of veggies in there and tomato sauce. Um, low in fibre, high in carbs, low in fat. And it was honestly huge, but somehow managed to eat all of it. So, that's fueled me. I'm, I've woken up full of energy. It's about half seven in the morning. On a Saturday, by the way, I should be in bed. Um, and also, my breakfast is going to be porridge because that's just what I've always been used to having before I work out and run, so it makes sense to have what I'm used to. So that's basically just gonna be oats, blueberries, maple syrup, um, normally almond milk, but I've only got oat milk at the moment. So these are the ingredients here. These are just normal oats, by the way. I've just put them in my glass container. I'm also going to have a matcha latte. I'm really low on almond milk and oat milk, so I'm just going to have this on its own with boiling water. Uh, it's really, really high in caffeine, um, but better than coffee. So, yeah, that's going to be my breakfast. So that's nicely bubbling away there. It's just oats with a bit of oat milk, water, and maple syrup. And I'm also going to add a bit of cinnamon in there at the end as well, I think. So with the matcha, I just add about half a teaspoon to one teaspoon of the matcha powder, add a bit of water to make a paste, and then you just fill up the cup with the rest of the water. Look at this incredible color. So in the same way that I said the meal that you have the night before your big event, whatever it is, a marathon or something like that, 
uh, it should be low in fat, high in carbs. That's exactly the same thing as your breakfast on the morning of the event. So that's why I've chosen porridge because it's really high in carbs. It's gonna give me so much energy. Porridge just keeps me going for longer. And also the sweetness of the maple syrup, and um, blueberries are an antioxidant, so they'll help with recovery during the run as well. The real marathon is going to start at 10 a.m. and that's why today I'm starting my run at 10 a.m. as well. Total dress rehearsal. And I'm eating this porridge two hours before and then one hour before I start running, I'm going to have a banana just to top up my energy levels. And of course, I'm taking my homemade energy gels with me today to test them out and yeah, see how it goes. So there we have it, my pre-marathon breakfast. I've got my porridge with loads of blueberries on there and my matcha latte. And now to pick the outfit. Sorry, my room is really messy. <laughs> um, so I'm obviously, like I said, going to try and wear exactly what I'm going to wear for the real marathon. I'm probably going to have to wear these really sexy lycra shorts. I've never worn lycra shorts before, but they're probably going to be the most comfortable. However, I haven't picked the best day to go on a long run. It's raining, and I don't know how I feel about wearing tiny shorts and a vest top while running in the rain. However, that would be good practice if it rains in the marathon but I think I'm gonna wear the slightly longer leggings instead. So these ones here, I've trained in them before, they're really comfortable, so I'll wear them today. And it might be a case that I actually end up wearing them on the real day. Look at how amazing this is. Oh, it's peeling off. No, <laughs> my cancer research, Naomi top. I'm not going to wear this today, because um, I want to save it, and I don't know if I can wash it with this on here. Uh, so I just wanted to show you guys, this is the charity that I'm raising money for, so please, please, please donate anything you can, it would just be amazing, because they're such a great charity. And this is the top I'm going to wear today, just a really lightweight vest top, I'm going to be absolutely freezing, but there's no way I'm taking a jumper with me, because I'm going to get so hot. And I also, as you know, had an injury, and I had to get, um, orthotics, so these are my orthotics that go into my trainers, and you can see they just help my arch lift there and they've made such an amazing difference. So, yep, definitely wearing them today. And also another really sexy thing is my waist belt. So I need something to carry, like my um, bank card, just in case I get lost, my keys. And by the way, I wrap a hairband around the keys to stop them rattling, because that can be really frustrating. Life hack right there. Running headphones, well, earphones, these basically just stay in your ears. And that's it for my outfit. And also, I can't forget my trainers, probably the most important thing. Because of my injury, I had to get new ones, and I was re recommended these ASICs 1000s because they basically are really supportive for my type of injury with my foot and my legs and everything. And so far, so good with these. Only one hour to go, so I'm going to eat this ripe banana now. I'm going to take this um, backpack instead. Bit of a change of plan, purely because I don't want to have to carry a big bottle of water and my electrolytes. So in here it has a um, big litre bottle of water in there and it just means I've got more room to carry stuff. So I've made my energy gels a bit smaller, I've split them in half. So I've just, I'm just going to take two, I think that'll be enough. Water, phone, headphones and yeah, ready I think. I'm not going to film while I'm there. Obviously I've done similar running videos like this in vlogs before where I've stopped and filmed where I am. but. I'm literally not even going to take photos or film or anything, so I will see you when I'm back and hopefully I am still alive. <laughs> Just stepped through my front door, got home, I did exactly 20 miles, I can't believe I did 20 miles. Absolutely insane when I think about how far I've just run. My legs are killing me. But I feel okay, like I honestly thought I would be lying on the floor, not able to do anything. My legs are really stiff. I just then um, walked around the block a bit, um, tr attempted to do a couple of lunges, but my knees just would not allow me to, but I've tried to cool down a bit. Um, I think the important thing is to just not be still and just keep my legs moving. So I'm, I'm still now trying to keep my legs moving. Um, energy gels worked an absolute treat. So I'm definitely gonna make them for the marathon and not have the ones that they're giving out. Not that there's anything wrong with those. Um, that's just my personal preference. Um, also, the same with the energy drinks. Mine, I really like the electrolyte. So I just feel more comfortable um, having things that I'm, my body is used to rather than just going crazy and trying something that I haven't had in ages. Um, so yeah, I don't know how long did I do it in. Let's see. 
So I ran through Hyde Park, Green Park and St James's then. I went straight along Embankment to the river. Sorry, I don't know if you can see, I'm not looking. Um, all the way along the Thames until I reached 10 miles. So this point here was exactly 10 miles and that's when I turned around. So yeah, I just went back the way that I'd gone. This bit was really annoying. They, there was roadworks going on, so I had to keep like cutting up, cutting up. So I did that run in three hours, 10 minutes, which I'm so happy with. I'm really pleased with myself. And I burnt 1,600 calories. That's a lot of calories to burn. So today I'm going to be eating way more than I normally would. So I guess this what I eat in a day um, video is going to be really different for you to kind of follow along with what I eat because I wouldn't normally eat this much on no workout days, obviously, because that I've just burnt 1,600 calories, so I definitely need to fuel my body back. Otherwise, I will, will be lying on the floor in about an hour. So it's all about the carbs today. Carbs, carbs, carbs. I'm just going to have bread, pasta, whatever it is. I'm meeting my friend Amelia um, at a, a really lovely cafe called Farm Girl. And I know they have an amazing sandwich there, so I might go for that sandwich. And they've got loads of vegan options. I don't think it's all vegan, but yeah, it's really good. So I'm going there for lunch. Um, and right now I'm going to have a protein shake. So I've shown this brand before, it's a vegan protein, I love it, it's vanilla flavour, just put that with some water in my protein shaker, and look what arrived yesterday, sauce box! It honestly took everything in me to not open this, um, to not eat everything in here yesterday, but oh, I'm so excited to have everything today. Dun dun dun! Oh, so excited! Right, so right now I'm 100% going to have some sweet potato crisps. That is what I need, something salty um, and carby. <laughs> oh, I love just everything in here. Oh, I just want it all. This looks really nice. It's a raw superfood flapjack. And possibly something for later, some chocolate. Oh, two bits of chocolate, oh my goodness. What? I'm, I think I'm just gonna have to eat everything today. Honestly, be prepared for this video for me to just eat so much food, but Oh, my leg, sorry, I'm not even filming my face, am I? I'm really sorry, I'm very exhausted right now. I feel like I'm in a bit, I'm a bit um, delusional. Oh, I can't talk. So this is what happens when you run 20 miles, your brain just stops working. I feel like I'm not really making any sense at all while I'm talking. Oh my goodness, my legs. I'm gonna have a shower, foam rolling right now, it's proper stretching, protein shake, Sweet potato crisps, meeting Amelia, that's the plan. I'm just walking up to meet Amelia now and I'm snacking on this um, bear yo-yo mango fruit thing. So I'm here with Amelia and we've just got our food. I'm so hungry. Look at this sandwich. It's like the biggest sandwich I've ever seen in my life. It's a vegan BLT, it's got like bacon coconut and avocado and cashew cream. Looks so good. Are you excited? I have food at me now. Yeah, food Yours looks good too though. <laughs> also just drinking this cold pressed juice with loads of amazing ingredients. It was so lovely to see Amelia had the best lunch. I can't believe how much I ate. So that sandwich that I showed, it was pretty big, right? I ate everything off of my plate. I was so hungry and that amount of food I would normally feel very full afterwards but I was still like yeah this is fine I can just eat this two whole massive sandwiches and not feel uncomfortably full which obviously just showed that you know your body after running 20 miles needs that fuel um, so I went around the corner and just bought a coconut water because coconut water is really really good at hydrating you um, obviously normal water is as well, but there's something about coconut water, I don't know the specifics, but I know it hydrates you quicker, I think it is, um, or more effectively maybe. So yeah, I've had about half of this, but there is another thing in my sauce box. I'm basically just going to be working my way through sauce box today, I think. There's this vital powder in here, which is a green superfood powder, and you basically add it to smoothies or just water or juice. Um, so I'm going to add mine to the rest of the coconut water that I have and just top it off with normal water. Just having the green superfood drink and it actually tastes really nice. A lot of them can taste really bitter and just not very nice and you kind of have to put them into some kind of fruit smoothie to 
get it down basically but this one tastes really nice it's got a bit of coconut sugar or something in there just sweetened slightly and it's definitely nice enough to have without you know loads of fruit whatever I just had coconut water and water in there um, I'm feeling absolutely exhausted right now which I guess is to be expected um, but I just kind of feel like I've hit a wall and all I want to do right now is close my eyes and go to sleep <laughs> I just feel absolutely exhausted um, so I need some kind of pick me up I'm just going to have this creative nature superfood goji goodness bar which is a raw superfood flapjack which sounds really delicious um, definitely I'm not gonna let myself go to sleep so hopefully that will just pick me up slightly and not sure what to have for dinner. Um, I'm thinking some kind of protein, so maybe some black beans and sweet potato, but we'll come to dinner a bit later. For now, I'm just finishing my green juice and this raw flapjack. I've been a very bad vlogger and I forgot to film my dinner. I just finished eating and I was like, oh my God, I forgot to film what I ate. Um, but luckily there's some left over, so I do have something to show you. Uh, it's basically a Mexican bean and quinoa thing from one of my favourite cookbooks called The Thug Kitchen and it's a vegan kind of Mexican cookbook and it's just so funny to read. It's literally one of those cookbooks where you can just kind of laugh along um, but yeah it was so delicious. Sweet potato, uh, black beans for protein, um, quinoa as well for protein and carbs um, so yeah just totally hit the spot. Uh, here it is, I'll show you what's left. So yeah, I'm really sorry, I forgot to film. So yeah, this is the the leftovers, I guess, but that'll be good for lunch or whatever. And then also I'm going to snack on this Madagascan vanilla raw chocolate. Is it raw chocolate? Yeah, it's raw chocolate by Bronte & Co. Sounds really nice and the ingredients are good as well, if you can see, if it's gonna focus. There we go, you can just about see that. So after that chocolate, that's me done for the day. I'm definitely going to sleep very well tonight. And yeah, like I said at the beginning of this video, this is obviously a different kind of eating day to what I would normally have on just a general normal day. Um, but obviously, yeah, because I'm training for marathon, I need to think a lot more about making sure that I'm eating enough. I think that's the main problem. Um, so yeah, I'm well on track for the marathon on the 24th of April. If you're in London, like London based, then definitely come and watch and cheer on. That would be amazing. And like I said earlier, the link for donations are down below for Cancer Research UK. Anyway, I will see you very soon. Bye. Hi everyone. So today's video is going to be super casual. I'm just in my lounge on my sofa, so comfortable. And I just thought I would film a Q&A video 